everybody, it's Caleb again, back with some more bad fanfiction theater. And Happy back with a guest. <laughs> and back with you, Joe. <laughs> Yay! Yay! So we decided that since the Legolas story wasn't really all that long, we'd read something else. And after spending, I don't know, 30 minutes an hour looking online for stuff we wish we could never see again, we found something from the Star Wars category. Truly an epic. <laughs> truly, truly. And um, <clears throat> this this is going to hurt a lot, I think, because this is... This looks just like a whole bunch of words smashed together. <laughs> well, you know what they say about great writing. Uh, uh, this isn't it. Yeah, this isn't it. <laughs> uh, so we are on adultfanfiction.net. Which is a great start, as anybody can tell you. <laughs> Reading from the Star Wars category, a story called Star Wars, Episode 7, A Nude Hope. I don't think this is the original author, <laughs> but just in case it is, it's by Tribal Tat. Heaven help us all. Yes, it seems to look like a bit of Tat, but... Um... So how should we divvy this up? Would you like me to start since I didn't start last time? Should we switch yeah, off? I would like. <clears throat> we could uh, switch off per chapter if you want. Or... Um. Well, let's see. There's four chapters, technically. Yeah, yeah so that would give us each. Chapter. Um, sure, if you want to dive right into this, you can. All right. I'll, I'll do one and three. You can do two and four, and we'll go for it. Yay. Hurrah. Hurrah, I say. <laughs> and then we cry tears of blood later. Yes, we poop, poop, bloody, bloody tears. <laughs> tears with a Z. <laughs> and, and talk, and talk to uh, our friend Satin. Yes, our friend Satin. God bless you, Satin. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Part one, friends. As the Millennium Falcon raced through hyperspace, Han Solo grunted out loud and poured himself a cup of space coffee. <laughs> He just grunted. <laughs> it's not just any kind of coffee, it's space coffee. Well, that's what you drink when you're in space, you know. And now I'm, I'm having flashbacks to Voltron where everything had space in the title. Space <laughs> mice, space cat, space space, space lion. Space heater. <laughs> it's going to be a long night, kid, Solo said with a tired rasp in his voice. Luckily for the exhausted hero, his good friend Luke was able to provide some relief. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I'll stay up to help you fly if you need be. Need Thanks. be? <laughs> Thanks, kid. You know I appreciate it. Han had never said how What's much he appreciated Luke. Lipsies? I don't know. Han had never said how much he appreciated Luke, except he just said it right now. Yes. It was understood between the two. Brotherly love had overcome them, and the two put their arms around each other as they flew. I'm just waiting for this turn to turn into porn. <laughs> Wait, they're <laughs> flying now? Not not yes. just the Millennium Falcons flying, but they themselves are flying as they're hugging each other with brotherly love. Not Perhaps it's a, a brotherly love. Perhaps it's a vicarious sort of flying. <laughs> Seen any good movies lately, kid? What? I guess they watch movies. I guess. The one with the penguins and they surf. That looks like shit. Uh-huh. No, Luke gasped gaily. <laughs> so he was happy about this? I guess. I guess. No, man, it was neat. Now, Han's good friend Dash Rendar, you might remember from the classic N64 title Shadows of the Empire, wanted the Hell Gang to have a reunion of sorts. Uh -huh. After the recent defeat of the Empire, a nostalgic feel was in the air that one could not escape. A sense of belonging was felt throughout the entire rebellion. A nostalgic feel? <laughs> After a horrible war? Ah, oh, yes. What were they feeling nostalgic? Oh, uh, you know, when the Empire we was here. The, uh, like, uh, not the Republic, the Empire. How, how horrible that it's gone now. Um, 
However, Han and his crewmates were somewhere in the Derpadon system. Derpadon? Yes, just let that sink in. For me. <laughs> and if are they we, wanted to... Are we trying to actually do a parody and not actually write a story? I think. So if it's tongue-in-cheek, I'm all for it. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> and if they wanted to make it to the Coxmongers... <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh yes if they wanted to make it to the coxmonger system in time for the party then an all nighter was in order yes it seems like an all nighter was in order if you go to the coxmonger falcon doesn't have you know autopilot i'm sure they don't have that in the fe- like the far far future <laughs> it was nothing new for solo with his history of outracing all of Outracing the likes of Jabba the Hutt and nearly any every bandit across the galaxy. Because sh- Jabba flew. He, he got off his planet into a spaceship and flew around space. <laughs> maybe maybe it means he just, um, Han just escaped the reach of Jabba. Perhaps. I think that's much more likely. Jabba's not exactly mobile. Yeah. I don't think many of the Huns are. And nearly every bandit across the galaxy was surely used to nights like this. In previous years, he would have been able to thrive during an all-nighter, but the recent defeat of the Empire and the years of travelling had left his tired bones worn and stale, uh-huh. because he's all of, like, 25 years old. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how Han is supposed to be. I just, I watched the movies with my brother, and I was just like, yeah, it's Star Wars, <laughs> don't care. <laughs> he needed assistance, and whenever a rocky moment presented itself, there was Luke, the kid. This this sounds like it's building up for porn between them, what, I swear why, to God. did we need the kid thing there? Well, it's his name for Luke. He always calls well, him kid. Well, I know, but, like, Luke, period. Kid, period. <laughs> That's not a sentence, just kid. Well, you know. It's, there, it's, that should be a comma. Sort of a, well, you know, it's sort of a conversational way of telling a story, I guess. Hours passed, and the evening soon turned into a night that was growing later and later, as evenings do. Han put on space. Yes, well, yes. How do they know it's evening? <laughs> I guess it's. I guess they have a clock. <laughs> Presumably. <laughs> Han put on some Def Leppard <laughs> to boost the energy level and overall morale because in the cockpit. What? Because they're listening to that in, in the far, far future of space. No, it's not the far future. Actually, it's a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So, it's one wonders how. Before Def, what was it? Def Leppard. <laughs> before Def Leppard was actually a group that they listened to Def Leppard. Mm. But perhaps, perhaps there's something to do with like relativity and the, the speed of light and movements of radio waves and. Or we were things. just too lazy to think of something that sounded like people would listen to in a technologically advanced society. Oh yeah. I'm going with that. <laughs> now we're rocking, Han joyfully proclaimed, but not gayfully. <laughs> uh, not gaily. Because he's not gay yet, I guess. <laughs> well, or happy, I guess. I don't know. This is old man music. What are you, an old man? <laughs> For, what? What the hell is the matter of firing back at his co-pilot? Yes, you know. Uh-huh. Han, Han, Han fired first, you know. <laughs> Come on, Han, don't you have a system of a down, a static X? Something to get a little hoppity in going in this ship? A what? A... <laughs> did I read that right? Something to get a little hoppity in going in this ship? Yes. I did read it correctly. I, well, and, and did, it, per- did it make sense to you? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. Figures someone your age wouldn't like this. Luke was quick well, to respond. Before you put it on, but <laughs> at the same time, it's your ship, so Luke should shut the fuck up. <laughs> Luke was quick to respond. I'm a grown ass man dog. So we're talking like black people now? Like gangsta black people? I guess we're trying to incorporate as much awkward street slang as possible. I don't know. I'm, it's not, I'm, I, I don't know. I so don't. you are a grown ass man. Well, that may become more apparent as the story <laughs> goes on, but <laughs> the two playfully argued. Uh-huh. Luke would go to the fridge and offer Han some Capri Suns. Um. 
Fritz and Capri Sons, and while they were still on a sugar high, they'd race each other in their swirly chairs. <laughs> I don't... What? Is, does that mean the chairs... What? Is that like an office chair? Yeah. Why would they have a chair that was loose and can roll around... On, on a ship. On a ship that can move, like, at warp uh, speeds? Yeah. They'd smile and laugh together. Time passed, though, as it always does somehow, and you wish to hold on moments as they pass. Well, that was kind of nice. Yeah, that that was. All right, Han, about time I called you tonight. I can't stay out much later. I'm sorry, I know I promised to help you fly and everything. Luke sounded nervous. I would sound nervous, too, because it looks like any moment there's going to be butt-fucking that just blossoms well, out of nothing. the story, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe so. They can stop arguing about music and using bizarre street slang that they have no real reason to do. Um, it's fine, kid. As long as I got this space coffee by my side and my Def Leppard cassette tapes, which are spelt properly this time. Wait, but this is the... An event so Why would they be using cassette tapes? <laughs> but he spelled Def Leppards right. And why are we still referring to coffee as space coffee? Well, you know. It's coffee. <sighs> in space. <laughs> in space. <laughs> I'm all set. Swell. If you need anything, just holler. I'll be in the back bedroom. Luke walked through the hallway of the Millennium Falcon, admiring the wonderful artwork There's only the one walls. hallway of that tower ship. <laughs> Also, I don't remember any artwork being on the walls. It's not a house, guys. It's a spaceship. <laughs> it had always needed a woman's touch. <laughs> That's debatable. The fair princess Leia, whose name is misspelled, yes. took it upon herself to make the drafty mechanic... If a ship is drafty, you're going to die. Yeah, especially you are going freaking space, guys. <laughs> A drafty mechanical ship into a rousing spectacle, yes, which this story hasn't become yet, a rousing spectacle <laughs> of uh, beauty and art. Luke walked past the pictures of doggies running and children rolling aimlessly through the grass. That's kind of creepy. Children just rolling around through grass. We don't even know whose kids these are, we just took pictures <laughs> of them rolling through the grass. Because children just roll. Weed. <laughs> children just lie down and roll through the grass randomly, you know. Admiring everything on his way to the bedroom. On Oh, his way. I thought you said its way. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Luke tugged away at his sheets, trying desperately to fit them on his bed. Would it kill but, Han? But, but shouldn't they already be on your bed? I... And shouldn't you be pulling them away so you can get into your bed and then cover up? Maybe these are just really shitty sheets. Maybe. Would it kill Han to... Oh, there we go. Would it kill Han to spare me a decent set of sheets? I only defeated the evil emperor for silly sake. For Luke. silly sake. <laughs> Apparently Luke is a bit of a good at two shoes. Luke thought as he stretched his arms across the ends of the bed. He stretched and stretched and stretched. Mm -hmm. But with all the force he was using, why would he use the force for that? I don't know. And, <laughs> a nice little toot <laughs> snuck out of his wrist. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Tears. It could be my tears. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Well, he needed the force to do that? He needed the force to stretch himself so that he could fart about it. <laughs> oh, oh my. And this is apparently a major plot point. That's wonderful. Oh my, Luke said out loud. Looks like that galaxy spaghetti I had really did a number on me. <laughs> Better make a quickie run to the old shit bucket what before sleepy it? time. Okay, so he said for silly sake, but he says shit bucket. <laughs> this is kind of a double standard here. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy spaghetti. <laughs> so he made out with the spaghetti monster. Good, um, good as explanation as any. <laughs> Why he said all this out loud is a matter of discussion. Not I only that, know. but <laughs> not only that, but nearly every word spoken was not in his character at all. But people change. Uh, uh all right. Realising that you wrote someone out of character is, is 
<laughs> an important part of being a writer, but usually you alter what they say so that it is in character and yes. don't just mention it in retrospect. But Luke finished setting his bed up, and by now the poo was... <laughs> Wait, he said all this out loud. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By now, the poo was raging inside of you. What? Right. <laughs> Here we go. He <laughs> exclaimed and went racing to the bathroom. <laughs> he set his plump white buttock down. <laughs> Just one buttock? Yes. I don't know. He set his plump white buttock down and delved into a People magazine, which apparently was also published a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yes. Ah, oh, finally, he sighed with relief. He didn't really act like it was all that much important. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Forty-five minutes passed, and still no sign of release. This is like some sort of fecal saga. Oh, God, please, I hope not. I <laughs> really hope not. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ, when is this turd going to pass? <laughs> what the shit? Exactly. <laughs> he made every effort in his little boy body. What? I thought he was a grown ass man. <laughs> Seriously, Luke is not a boy. He's like 20 years old. <laughs> to expel this demon poo from his <laughs> innards. He gripped the People magazine with all his might, nearly tearing the pages of the paparazzi section. Without warning, the bathroom door suddenly burst open. Yipes. Um... What? <laughs> well, hello, Luke. A seductive voice whispered from the doorway. Because you would do that, you would wor- break in on someone who's on the toilet for 45 minutes trying to be seductive when he's probably farting like a foghorn. <laughs> a shadowy figure stood leaning against the doorframe. What, was she backlit? <laughs> Did they just have like backlighting outside of the bathroom? Just in case you need to be really dramatic when you open the bathroom door, we've got backlights here. We've got, got some Klieg lights. You know, you can just position them anywhere. Her deep, sensual voice grabbed Luke immediately. <laughs> I was thinking of Carrie Fisher now. <laughs> his mind began racing and a nervous sweat began pouring from his face. Wouldn't this kind of be happening anyway if you, <laughs> if you were trying to take a poop in Carrie Fisher? It was just sort of... Uh, I just burst the door open. <laughs> Leia, is that you? What are you still doing up? What was she doing all this time? And why would you just be casually asking her after <laughs> busting in the door? Well, you're sitting there pooping in what I hope is not the only bathroom in the Millennium Falcon because he's been in there for 45 minutes. <laughs> and Leia, who is apparently traveling with them and has decorated the ship, yet was never once mentioned before this moment, despite the fact that they passed the better part of an entire evening together. On the way to some sort of sex party. Yes. Because the Empire was overthrown. Um, I am feeling nostalgic. She appeared in nothing but a towel. Nothing but a towel. Seemingly ready to take a steamy shower. So this was not just a water closet, it was an actual bathroom. bathroom. Okay. Okay. Although, why would they have... No, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> However, she couldn't with her brother nearby, and any sensible woman would never allow her own brother to see her in the nude, right? Right. Shit. Wait, why is there a quote there? Uh, I don't know. This... what? Uh... Well, okay. it does say a sensible woman wouldn't let her brother see her <laughs> naked, so... Guess where this is going? Oh, no. Oh, yes. Uh, well, we've already hit the... The, the plumb the depths of uh, of questionable taste with Luke's sudden and awkward emergency defecation that has not happened, so he's apparently constipated as well. All right. Oh, I felt dirty from flying with Han all day. You ever feel dirty, Luke? <laughs> Yes, I mean, no, 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 I have not. With, uh-huh. that statement, with that statement, Luke shrieked. He became so mentally worked up, he cleaned his colon clear of any remaining feces that were in it. So he's sitting here, 
And because she said she asked him a simple question, he poops. Yes. Explosively. <laughs> this is this is is this supposed to be stood up? I, I, maybe there's somebody who who <laughs> likes that kind of thing. I guess. Okay. His voice also cracked up cracked more noticeably than when he was 13 but in comparison to the loud flatulent he released who cares <laughs> Leia, Leia heard though and giggled her adorable little girl laugh why do they keep calling them little? they're not little <sighs> they're adults and why would you find pooping funny you're, you're <laughs> watching your brother half naked on the toilet using the bathroom and how is that sexy him. And you bust in wearing a towel talking about how dirty you feel and then he poops and farts. And you're laughing, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Um, yes. Uh, I lost my place. I, I'm sorry. It, it sent tingles all up Luke's spine. Oh, you've always been the shy one in the family, Luke. How, you know? how would you know that? You guys were separated at birth. Uh, well, I guess since there's only the two of them and she's obviously not, then by default he sort of is. <laughs> Luke was not shy at all. Oh, well. Mm. He, he defeated the Emperor and blew up the Death Star for Christ's sake. And now he finally, suddenly found himself speechless. Was he going to see his sister naked? Little did he know that was merely a sprinkle on the banana split that was to come. <laughs> do not like that imagery. Uh. Do not like that imagery. <laughs> The shy and excitable one. What the... And before Luke could send a full three words out of his mouth, Leia's towel... <laughs> Leia's towel dropped to the floor, setting her breasts free into the midst of the shower, so like they just Wait, detached... Wait, shower? And, yeah, so she actually came in there and got in the shower instead of just standing there in the door. When did we say she got into the shower? I don't know. What I'm what I'm thinking is her towel dropped to the floor and that made it made her breasts free not to be attached to a body anymore. <laughs> so they flew off and started <laughs> That's shouting. Be a little weird and creepy. <laughs> How could it be more creepy than what we've already seen? <laughs> How could it be more weird than what we've already seen? Tell me that. Tell me this, Cassie. Tell me this. I'm waiting well, for this explanation. Get that Velociraptor fanfic, and uh, we can talk about that. <laughs> Luke noticed everything on her instantly, probably because it was flying off into the air. <laughs> her sensual curves. Her sensual curves? Her yeah. sensual curves, her delightfully perky breasts, and the giant brown birthmark on her ass, which made him awkward. Uh, What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I will say I never noticed a giant bound birthmark on Carrie Fisher's ass, even in the <laughs> slave layer outfit, but I also was not actually looking either, so maybe it is there, who knows? Still the slight of the sight of her near perfect body caused Luke's penis to become very hard. It stood it- it's her sister, dude. I mean, <laughs> granted, you guys have lived far, far apart. You know, never didn't grow up with each other. But I don't. Granted, I'm not a guy, but I don't think that that that's how that works. Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, some people say that when you like grow up around someone, it is like a natural psychological development that you do not find them attractive in that way typically yeah like most people they they develop a kind of um not really so much an animosity but like a sort of like a barrier between intimacy mm-hmm. and so i mean siblings who maybe didn't even know they were siblings up until I don't know, like, let's just say for argument's sake, 20 years old, let's say Luke and they are 20 years old and they never really met each other and they didn't even know they were siblings until they had, you know, known each other for a yeah. number of months, you know. It would not be out of the question, obviously. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm just like, you're <laughs> aware by this point that's your sister. And... <laughs> Well, yeah, I am, I mean, I am granted, trying. It's a weird uh, situation, but I don't think I I could 
get into the mood in, in such a situation. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to bring this much more of a than it really deserves by talking about things, but... Uh... Anyway, whatever. We're in, I guess we're in fantasy land, although not our fantasy land. We're in someone else's fantasy yes. land. It's a fantasy land that involves Luke Skywalker on the toilet for 45 minutes while Leia shines her giant birthmark <laughs> on her ass <laughs> and her boobs detach themselves and start a shower. Um, in a penis, heaven, <laughs> it's still direct and proud, pointing straight towards the mighty heavens. Did I already read that? The, the, no, you didn't. It, okay. To the, pointing straight to the towards the mighty heavens. Yes. Which I might add is all around them, so it could point in any direction. Yes. He he. Oh my Luke, you're more impressive than I thought. Uh, yeah. For thanks, Leia, you're cute too. This is so wrong. It raced <laughs> through his head at lightning speed. But the beautiful, wet, soapy body that stood before him, because apparently they don't have shower curtains in the. I guess not. Space past. doors. <laughs> oh, doors, yeah. It stood before him, spoke otherwise. Her shapely boobs were everything Luke could want in something to wank to. Yet did family relationship matter, dot, dot. dot, dot well, dot. considering this story, probably not. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> she lathered up good and fine. Which, of course, people would do in a story like this. I would, I would actually take exception if she lathered up anything but good and fine. <laughs> the soap dripped off her body at a seductively slow pace. Luke could not contain the powerful urge of excitement that raced through his veins. I hope he wiped. <laughs> I hope so, too. I'm, I'm, that just sort of occurred to me, like, <laughs> if he's going to actually act on this, please, please, please wipe your ass. <laughs> <laughs> And and also, you know, please flush because if yeah, I mean, you don't uh, this this whole situation might, you know, kind of get more erotic, I guess, but it's going to be slightly less so if you don't flush because that's just not going to sit there all the time. Um, the situation, which was not erotic, and the alluring look <laughs> of his nudie sister. Too, too much for him to fathom. <laughs> I can't understand this. It's like a Cthulhu Wait. monster. It's like a Lovecraft monster. It broke his mind. <laughs> take take ten points of sanity damage. Aw, oh, shit, man. And his erect penis launched a mighty wad of semen directly onto Luke's shaven chin. There Luke sat, pants down at his ankles, on a toilet full of poop. With... <laughs> The evocative words of this author yes. leave me completely stunned, moved into, like, moved like Luke's bowels <laughs> unto a new realm of literature. Um, yes. Uh, toilet full of poop, that's right. With semen dripping from the bottom of his chin, eyes bulging from his face so he looks like Spongebob. Yes, Leia giggled as Luke's dignity shriveled and died. <laughs> along with ours, apparently. Yes. But Luke had always enjoyed that delightful snicker even after he found out she was his own flesh and blood. Well, what do we do now? Luke said desperately. Well, you already came, so <laughs> you're going to have to wait a little bit before you can get it up again. Luke said desperately trying to sound suave. I don't know, babe. You tell me. Well, um... Let's get you out of my dreams and into my bed, oh Luke started. Oh my god. <laughs> Desperately Did trying. Did really just say that? I don't think I will ever actually say that in any other circumstances in my life. Stuttering or otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Desperately trying to be slick, yet he knew it was hopeless to be suave on the shit. Yes, that's very <laughs> astute of you, Luke. Leia hopped gleefully out of the shower, which is actually very dangerous. You should never do this. Never yes. hop gleefully out of the shower. You could fall and hurt yourself. The soap continued pouring from her shapely body. She didn't rinse. I guess not. Oh my God. If they're going to actually have sex, that soap's going to get places. And you could get, a, you could get like a urinary tract infection. I mean, care for your urethra. Care for your orifices. This is not good. This is not good. Always rinse. Always wipe. And he still hasn't wiped. <laughs> no, he has not. 
Anyway, um, Leia hopped gleefully out of the shower. The soap continued pouring from her shapely body. Luke stood up from the toilet. Oh my god, he didn't wipe. His man me. His man me. <laughs> I just want to take this opportunity to say I hate it when people call any part of the body meat. I hate it. Well, because you're it, makes, a it makes it makes me think like of like a <laughs> like a packet of ground chuck or something. You know, it's just this horrible image. You should never ever do that. I like anybody that uses the word meat to refer to their genitalia, I immediately associate with like some sort of caveman. Some sort of like cannibal caveman that belongs in an Italian exploitation film. <laughs> Never, ever, ever use this word to refer to it. There are so many other ways to refer to it. And I mean, tallywhacker may sound silly, but I would still rather hear it than you using the word meat to refer to your penis. Also, don't refer to the labia as meat curtains. That's really gross. Meat toads? Meat curtains. Oh, meat curtains. <laughs> because and I'm just like, what? <laughs> no, no, not meat curtains. I, I don't, <laughs> oh, I meat someone, curtains, I'm still like, what? <laughs> someone, someone could refer to uh, to the boobs, I guess, as meat curtains, but that's that's pretty sick, too, I, I have to say. Anyway... My my old meat aside, my tangent is is done. I just have to say that because this is an opportunity for me to say that. Like even even writing the most erotic, well written story that you will ever write, if you use meat to refer to that, that story goes down in esteem so many levels. It is absolutely awful. Don't equate that. <laughs> Don't equate them. Just don't do it. Proudly waving about and his pants still down around his ankles, he hurried to chase her body down. It uh. really bothers me. It really <laughs> bothers me. He neither flushed nor wiped. Or cleaned up his chin or anything. <laughs> Apparently. He fell in the doorway, tripping over his pants. But he should have pulled them up. He pulled his face up from the floor and gazed at Leia, spread eagle on the hover bed. So, why does was... it hover? So there was a hover bed in the hallway? I guess. I guess so. I, maybe she put it in there during a decoration phase. Luke tried to pull away, held to pull himself up off the ground and get his shiny white ass back in his pants. There his sister was on the bed, proudly presenting herself. The night reeks. That's not. That's not the right. That's not the right word you want. That's <laughs> even if it even if it were spelled the proper reek. Reek is not really a word that you want to say. Anyway. Yeah. And Luke knew, and Luke could see that it was going to be a pork fest of the most monumental proportions. So we're still on meat kink kick. Yes. Yeah, and now all I can think of is I would rather be having a barbecue sandwich right now. Well, I think actually fries. The, the whole pork fest thing may come from like Put porking. a sandwich on them and wrap them around my <laughs> pigs. <laughs> but I was I was going to point out that the um that the pigs orgasm lasts for about thirty minutes. So that may be a reference to the term porking. I've, I've always wondered about it, but I mean, there are so many different explanations for these sexual euphemisms since there are so many of them. You know, there's there's a word for every person just about who, who has sex to to not actually say the word sex. <laughs> but yeah, the, the porking thing, that may actually derive from the fact that a pig's orgasm lasts 30 minutes. So, yeah, the more you know. <clears throat> All right. Sip a soda. <sighs> Part two. Ellipses. And then I'm going to screw you completely. Um, go clean yourself up first. <laughs> yeah, please don't wallow around in your own feces on the uh, In front of the falcon... In front of it, you're still in space. <laughs> in front of the Falcon, Han Solo sat perched behind the steering buttons of the ship. 
because there's no handle or anything for you to actually steer the ship. Both Luke and Leia had gone to bed. Chewie and 3PO... 3PO? Okay. Were scattered about somewhere. You killed them and there were hearts <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then didn't care where they were. You don't know where they are now. <laughs> well, to be fair, three PO gets um, actually does get dismembered during the well, <laughs> a yes. couple of times during the series. So. They always got up to some silly shenanigans on the long trips. Lol. <laughs> oh boy. Could you tell us about their silly shenanigans? I mean, it can't be. Yeah, so um, just saying that they <laughs> do that. It can't be any less entertaining than Luke Skywalker takes a poo and gets hit on by his sister. <laughs> and the course they were set on showed no signs of any interference ahead. Smooth sailing all the way to the celebration. Han, oh, to the celebration. <laughs> Han just imagined how great it was going to be seeing the gang again. Londo, the black dude, well. <laughs> Useless. Useless. Yes. He died in the indoor battle. Yes, that's, that's wonderful. Lando had absolutely nothing else to distinguish himself. <laughs> He's just the black, the black dude. <laughs> uh, what a what a terribly nice thing to say about Lando Calrissian, who was who was a, a very old and dear friend of Han Solo, and clearly had just tremendous history with him, and. This, Unbelievable depth of character, more so than even some of the main characters that... Never mind, just... just never mind. <laughs> Think about it too hard. <laughs> the when it's dude. useless, he died in the Endor battle, then how... No, no, that's unless... <laughs> oh, unless he died in the Endor battle. <laughs> Wait, you don't think... know this. I know, look... I think I think your subconscious is coming out. <laughs> useless. <laughs> useless. Useless. I've read that as useless about three times now. And the catfish guy. I know who he's referring to. I don't know his name, but I know who he's referring to. Is that supposed to be General Akbar? No, there's another character who looks kind of like a catfish, and um, I'm pretty sure that's who he's referring to. I just can't remember his name. <sighs> This is so exciting to you, I can tell. Yes. He tapped his feet and uh, sang quietly to himself. He loved Deaf Le- Leopard. Slightly misspelled, but whatever. Yeah. He felt the warm sensation around his handsome for Huh? Oh, around, around his hand from the space coffee. So he had his hand in the coffee cup? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and thought that a single life may not be able to become more content than he is now. I, I need to act like use my mouse cursor to follow along because it's all, like, there's no anything to distinguish one front thing from the other, and I keep trying to go to the next uh, line instead of following what I'm reading. More content than he is now, Han had reached space nirvana. <laughs> no, had reached nirvana, space nirvana. <laughs> Uh huh. Everything has to be of space. He was com- completely comfortable, all right, except for one minor detail. He felt a large amount of pressure on his outer thigh from his pocket. He switched to autopilot. Chewie was off playing board games with 3PO anyway. Oh, How so do you they... know this? Yeah, so just, they just, were. Just didn't know what. <laughs> <laughs> they were somewhere doing silly shenanigans, which turned out to be playing board games, which is not very silly, actually. <laughs> sounds like sounds like something born of desperation. <laughs> well, do you want to play Monopoly again for the 50 billionth time on this trip? No, let's play Candyland. At least we haven't played that to death. <laughs> and pulled a square-shaped box from his pants. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was expecting something else. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could be doing that later. Should That's I? Hopeful. What should I say? What if she doesn't like it? Ah, oh, gee, gaugies. What is it? Ah, uh, it's, it's a, a ring. Oh, you've read it. You've read ahead, haven't you? No, I, I, I once I read, read that line, <laughs> and then as I was reading that, I jumped ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. But, but I'm like, oh, okay. But then, I, 
she's fucking her brother. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I figure out Han, unless she's into threesomes or morsums. Well, she she might be. I mean, that giant ass birthmark, literally giant ass birthmark. Uh-huh. <sighs> I can see this, this story <laughs> controls you so completely and utterly. I was doing this during the Stardust thing, so I was just like, why am I so tired? <laughs> <laughs> well, this does this does fatigue His one. reflection stared back at him there. Wait. From where? Where is his reflection staring back at him? It tells you in the second half of the sentence, I think. His reflection <laughs> stared back at him there in the shiny gold. Ro- oh, okay. In the shiny <laughs> gold. And it's big diamond because there's nothing else in all of space that that could be made from. Yeah, that sort of makes me wonder too. <laughs> he thought about how beautiful it would look wrapped around her finger while she stood. We still haven't talked about who her is, but I'm assuming Leia. It's, it's, yeah, presumably it is Leia. While he, while she stood in a flowing white gown, maybe her customs are different. A bouquet of roses in her arms. They took each other's hands in matrimony with vows that each had written. Uh, this is a little one-sided. What? What? <laughs> you do that. <laughs> You know, again, her customs might be different. That each other had written as their feet would ding, ding, uh, <laughs> ah, <laughs> dig into the ground. Into the, oh my God, <laughs> would dig into the sand of a beautiful beach. Han began to breathe heavily and reflect. Breathe God. heavily? What is he, a creeper? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Oh, matrimony really gets me horny. <laughs> like, what is this? What is this writing? <laughs> Can't wait. I'm thinking of our wedding night already. Meanwhile, in the back bedroom, Leia rode Luke's man meat. <laughs> Just a reminder, don't use the word meat to refer to that. <laughs> Fuck me, brother. <laughs> God damn it. Oh god, I'm going to hell. Um maybe. The pit, but is it your religion like Jedi stuff? Yeah, isn't isn't it? I, I don't know if there's a hell in the Jedi world. I don't oh, I, know. Why would he think that? Anyway, I mean being being raised Jedi well not being raised Jedi so much as being trained in Jedi and being raised in who knows what. I Oh god, I'm going to hell, Luke screamed. <laughs> <laughs> With so much to think had some in his voice. <laughs> Luke still had his shirt on and Leia was dripping soapy water still all over the bed. Oh god, what is she she's like exuding it from her pores? Perhaps. Though I don't know how anybody's hanging on to each other when they're slippery. <laughs> her perky breasts not her nipples, her perky breasts, <laughs> jumped around on her chest. See, I told you. <laughs> like happy children on a moon bounce. Yeah, they pretty much have got to be uh, <laughs> detachable. <laughs> <laughs> Up, down, and all over, Luke liked it. They were big, beautiful boobies. <laughs> I love how you're, just, you're very flat, very business, big, beautiful <laughs> boobies. I'm like, yeah, let's just get this over with. Come on, let's go. Next sentence, next word. <laughs> that, that ached to be sucked on, not her nipples, her boobies. He especially liked that from this angle, he could not, he could not see the awkward birthmark on her ass cheek. <laughs> He's obsessed with his birthmark. <laughs> Why would that matter? Why would that birthmark matter? How does that... Why does it even factor in? I don't know. Phew, good good thing. Luke Luke wanted a hard, strong wiener for his sister. (laughs) 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 And and you couldn't just, like, stare at her back instead of at a birthmark on her butt. Why would you be looking at her butt when you're fucking her? (laughs) <laughs> well, if you were used. Uh, oh, look, she breathed heavily deep and cavernous. Oh, God. <laughs> it, 
Is what we're doing wrong? Why are you worrying about that now? I know, and if you're breathing deep and cavernous, <laughs> then you'll probably, you probably have a raspy voice like, Oh, Luke. <laughs> is what we're doing wrong? <laughs> That's not a voice I want to hear while having sex. <laughs> It's not a voice I want to hear at all. <laughs> Whatever I'm doing. <laughs> oh, God, yes, he yells back his naked sister <laughs> that what you're doing is wrong. So then why are you doing it? Maybe he gets off on that. Well. <laughs> good. Yes, 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 brother. Okay. Because she would call him brother instead of by his name, which is Luke. Maybe it's a fetish. Perhaps. In the midst of their screams and masses <laughs> on each other's naked bodies, a rescue howl came from the closet. Are we serious? <laughs> Grrr. What I can't even do? I can't even make those sounds. You did a great job. You've got to do it. Grrr. <laughs> Luke and Leia froze, with him still inside of her delicate shave vaguna. <laughs> wow. I've never seen it spelled that way before, but it suits the space setting. I, 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 it's a space vagina. A vaguna. Space, space vaguna. Grrrr, Fuck me, what? <laughs> Fuck me, Freddy. Luke cried, someone's in the closet. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I'm thinking Freddy Krueger now. <laughs> no, no, that's the entire plot of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Fuck me, Freddy, cried Luke. Someone's in the closet. There <laughs> sure is, ellipses, Leia said. Now get back to fucking me, twin brother. Um. <laughs> uh, oh, well, technically it would be twin sis, so. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Shut up, <laughs> screamed. Leia screamed and began to grate on Luke's massive, now incestuous, dong. <laughs> 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 yes, that's right. Gyrating on Luke's massive dong. <laughs> it's just you a really, yeah, We really came here. We we really. You might reached... want to change your phrasing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we really went here. We really came to this point in, in the story. I can't your phrasing. We arrived <laughs> at this point. Uh, no, no, Leia, get off. I'm trying to, but you keep talking. <laughs> she put her hands on his mouth and kept writing him. No, no, Leia, we have to see. Th- we have to see this. This what? <laughs> if word gets out that I boinked my sister, I'll be maimed. That's Ma'am? not how you spell that. <laughs> Ma'am, sweet sister. Well, don't, well, you'll go out fucking your sister, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> Luke <laughs> reached out <laughs> <What if it's laughs> and pulled out his lightsaber. Not what one word, two words. So it's actually a saber that's not very heavy, I guess. And how can you reach under there and get it? <laughs> She's on top of you. He's very talented. I suppose. Like, you just couldn't use the force to bring it to you, but whatever. Yeah, because he, he could use the force to stretch and fart. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't use the force to poop, though. He sat there for 45 minutes, a better yeah. part of an hour, without using the force to... You know, it makes me wonder. <laughs> like, on, when they're on missions and things like that, do they, do they like, use the force to take care of that? Like, they're just like, I can't, I can't deal with this right now. I'm going to use the force. Use the force. <laughs> I I don't know, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I really can't believe that we're here. 
<laughs> we are we are at this point in conversation where I'm hey, actually you legitimately did a Star Wars story. Okay, you you decided to do this. You're the one that found it. <laughs> okay, so he reached under and pulled out his lightsaber. Somehow it is still on top of him, I guess. He approached the closet in the nude with Le- Le- Leia still on top of him, I guess. <laughs> And heard the heavy groaning from inside. Gra, 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 gra. Well, no, shit. Chewbacca sat in the dirt closet, ashamed with a hat, with a hard animal erection in his hand, oh covered in hair. What the shit? I thought they were playing board games. <laughs> Apparently, they were playing a different kind of game. Oh my god, you were spying on us? Ellipses, and you're masturbating, like <laughs> said, in his hands on his waist. So you're gonna chai Shabbat, uh, like he's, you know, just some kind of pet? Bad, bad Chewbacca! Bad, bad Chewbacca! You don't do that in the closet. <laughs> you, don't, you don't masturbate in the closet. <laughs> Not all over our carpet. Not our new carpet. This is why we can't have nice things, Chewbacca. <laughs> he was livid enough to forget that his man meat stood straight out. Wait when- a minute. Wait. Why would you still be aroused after something like that? Like, wouldn't you kind of be wilting after you saw Chewbacca masturbating in your closet? Uh, I don't know about you, but I certainly would have a... Uh, and, and what did you do with Leia? You never said you, you know, she got <laughs> off of you. No, she's diddling herself on the bed, I guess. Suppose. <laughs> uh, this man meat stood straight out, waving in front of Chewie's face. Oh, the no. wasted... Uh-huh. The Wookiee uh-huh. wasted no time. He leapt uh-huh. off the floor uh-huh. of the clothes. Of the clothes. <laughs> With his own massive erection and began sucking Luke's, Luke's dick. Hard, fierce, and long sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> Luke's wiener <laughs> filled him with wookie delight. Oh, did you ever think you would actually utter those words in sequence, ever? Well, I don't read Star Wars fanfic, but... Answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess not, because again, I don't read Star Wars fanfic, especially not ones with Wookiees in them. I don't really know how to reply to that because I'm not really shocked. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. <laughs> oh my god. I understand that I'm a pretty laid back person. I'm just, oh, that just happened. Okay. Oh god, no. This is worse. No, no, now you let me play too, you bad boys. Leia, oh, no. had, <laughs> Leia had jumped off the bed and come over wearing a sh- strap-on she had hidden in her drawer. Wait, so we're in her room. <laughs> why were you pooping in her bathroom? And why does she have your lightsaber under her bed? Is she <laughs> masturbating with it? Wouldn't that be ill-advised? <laughs> Oh, I guess you could turn it the other way around, but then if your foot got in the way or something, you'd be really shit out of luck. And why does she have a strap on? I guess Han likes that extra... I'm not going to continue with that. Um, Leia, I don't know about... Shut up, she picked up Chewie's bent over (laughs) ass. And... And... Wait, wait. With no preparation... Well, she obviously likes it rough. I, I, well... Okay. He's a Wookiee. There are probably things we don't know about his anatomy. Okay. And started ramming him in the butthole with her plastic dildo. <laughs> he was surprised, but was not about to let Luke's large love stick out of his mouth. <laughs> In fact, he started to like Leia in his rectum very much. Oh, no. He took his left paw, he has a hand, guys, not paws, and began jerking himself off and rubbing rubbing his nipple with his other hand. 
Wait, wouldn't that be rather awkward to do with the... <laughs> wouldn't you have to be pretty much sitting on top of Leia in order for that to work? <laughs> Once you lift your hands up off the floor. No, it should be okay, I, I think. I'm still trying to get this all <laughs> figured out in my mind. Let's just go with it for the moment. Okay, okay. Um, rubbing his nipple with the other hand. Soft at first, then rough. <laughs> as long as his wookie strength would allow. Okay, I, I guess. Yes, yes, now now you do me, twin brother, and hairy ape. Wouldn't that be rather offensive to wookies? <laughs> I should think so. I mean, they speak in a growling sort of tone, but from all the indications, they speak, you know, perfectly normally in their own speech, so I don't know. Leia said, speaking in cavewoman talk. Uh, uh. Uh-huh. She got down on all fours and took Chewie's penis into her mouth. Wait, her- what happened to her doing him from behind. I guess she got tired of that. <laughs> That's a lot of work for a woman. She's just supposed to lay on her back and take it. So. <laughs> I guess. She and put so <laughs> Chewie's penis into her mouth, <laughs> stroking it and spitting on it, even biting it. Wouldn't that hurt? It would hurt. Chewie didn't mind, though. Him and Leia <laughs> both seemed to like it raw and hot. Oh, they they could have started doing this months ago. Oh, should have. They should have started doing this months ago. Luke was doing <laughs> in the behind. <laughs> no preparation. <laughs> Crying because there was poop in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just stick your penis in there. I'm crying. Crying, really? <laughs> I don't know anything about doing it up the butt. I don't really want to know anything about doing it up the butt past what I already know from reading fan fiction. <laughs> well, I mean, generally it's not a danger, and usually you can kind of uh, prepare for it if you have preparation, but. Wow, that's that's uh, this is just such an amazingly classy. <laughs> classy, <laughs> you're gonna do this class. Um. My God. Let's see. <laughs> but also happy because it's tight. It's tightening cessation felt wonderful on his meat. Oh. <laughs> saying that. Stop it, stop it, stop it. It's doing it on purpose. J- just to make you mad. It's, it's spiteful. It's, it's... <laughs> Han, though, sat in the front of the ship, rocking back and forth, and singing his Death Leopard to himself when the galaxy pasta started to get to him, too. Oh, no, we're going to have 45 minutes with Han on the toilet. <laughs> Uh, I forgot about that galaxy spaghetti, and I was like, galaxy <laughs> pasta, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> A large rumble in his tummy came over him. And so now they must produce galaxy asteroids, because uh. they come from your ass, you see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that kid was right, Hans said, laughing to himself. That galaxy, that galaxy pasta sure flies through you. When did he actually say that to you? <laughs> Presumably at some point during the evening that they didn't put any details into. Han got out of out of his <laughs> got out of his and walked to the back room, holding his stomach the entire way. You only felt bad now. Not there wasn't a slow... I shouldn't say this. There wasn't a slow build-up or anything. <laughs> Do you really want to read more than more than a few sentences of Han Solo realizes he needs to defecate? No, but still. <laughs> like, like, you could probably write an entire novel where someone slowly realizes that they have to poo, but 
I just don't think it's worth the effort. <sighs> Let's see here. What if Alfred Hitchcock directed that story? I'm sorry. We shouldn't. <laughs> I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> And then my brain froze, because I was like, <laughs> uh, well, it might actually be watchable and entertaining. <laughs> but would it... I mean, he's already used the title Rear Window, though. Uh... Uh... <laughs> holding his stomach the entire way. Oh, God, this one's gonna be huge. You would shout this... <laughs> He limps well, his way actually, to the back room. Not the bathroom, the back room. He's going <laughs> to <and> look bad. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't put it past this uh, story. Uh, stomach full of feces. <laughs> all ready to burst out of his hairy manhole. That's a detail I really didn't need to know about Han Solo. Uh, <laughs> please yourself. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't a good term to use, either. No. Meanwhile, separated merely by a door, he couldn't hear any of this. <laughs> His bride-to-be, you haven't proposed yet, was getting rammed in the ass by her twin brother and sucking the monstrous hairy dick of Chewbacca. Why would there be hair on his penis? <laughs> <laughs> she heard footsteps. She heard footsteps. Oh, shit, someone's coming. She said with a mouthful of Wookiee Winger. Oh, the she probably, she probably said, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, How can anyone understand you? <laughs> Aren't you kind of loud? You know, Wookiee's pretty loud. Han heard Chewie's loud cries from outside the bedroom door. Hey, Chewie, is that you in there? And you're not going to question that that's Leia's bedroom he's in? Also, what other Wookiee would it be? Do you have several Wookiees aboard your ship that just randomly wander around? Uh, where have you been, buddy? I thought he Why was wouldn't you know? <laughs> you didn't know. He's just scattered about <laughs> after you killed him. But then he's apparently playing board games. But now <laughs> you really don't know where he is again. He said, turning the doorknob, you guys didn't lock the door. And you have doorknobs in this space age? Yeah. But anyway, he said, turning the doorknob while he spoke, he opened, the door opened and roughly ten solid beats passed through time while Han stared <laughs> in, in heartbroken shock at his girlfriend getting double teamed by, by an ape and her twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this is exactly how Han Solo feels. <laughs> These disparate elements could be erotic, and they could be dealt with in an erotic manner, but this is just sort of serving them all up, like, here you go, <laughs> with no real build-up to anything. Like you, you were saying, you know, Han having the build-up, you know, the, the, any sort of indication might be nice. Well, it might actually be nice if any of this had any build-up whatsoever to get us interested in it or invested in it in any way. But the best this person has done is talked about Leia's giant ass birthmark. <laughs> and pooping. And, <laughs> and pooping, not And pooping. floating boobs. And, <laughs> and floating detachable bosoms, yes. Uh, let's see here. Uh, and uh, let's not forget we're still insulting Chewie by calling him an ape. <laughs> yes. He, he crapped. <laughs> 
And he grabbed his pants immediately. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Han felt the warm drips of diarrhea sticking his left leg. It was almost explosive when he when it was released. <laughs> he blew his pants off. <laughs> Oh my god. The force was so powerful that I almost blew <laughs> This is a new low. <laughs> well, it's definitely not a new high. No, no, it's <laughs> definitely not that, no. Le- Leia hands hand spoke, shocked with tears starting to form in his eyes. Yeah, I guess you would be crying. I don't know which I would be worried about first. The fact that I pooed myself... <laughs> friend is getting nailed by two other guys. Well, I mean, I think all these things happening at the same time would probably be pretty upsetting, so I can kind of see <laughs> I can kind of see bursting into tears at this moment. I, well, yes. I probably would not be too happy myself. <laughs> <laughs> it it it's not what it looks like, Han. I really she was interrupted by Chewie's ejaculate streaming onto her face. Oh lovely. I just love the vivid imagery of this story. It's <laughs> so, so evocative. Yes. Ah, Chewie, my God. <laughs> Han cried, get off her. Chewie smiled the devilish smile that Han, at Han reached under his fur and pulled... What? And pulled out a cigarette from his... Uh... So now we're going to do the cliche thing of smoking after sex. Or during it, apparently. Leia was still trying to explain it all to Han. Her out-of-control libo, uh, libido. Yes, libido. Her foolishness, but her face was still <laughs> to come. Wipe it off! <laughs> you got hands! <sighs> I mean, and they're not... They're busy holding things. her up while her brother <laughs> hands her in, in I was, gas. I was, I was going to... And you know. is watching them. I was I was going to uh, explain it away by her giving someone a hand job, but I couldn't think of anybody. She couldn't muster a single thought out, and Luke was still pounding her in the ass. Good job, Luke. Yes, good job. <laughs> God, kid, get the fuck off her. Oh, shit, Hans, you didn't know this! <laughs> he, the guy walks in, poops in his pants... <laughs> It's Starts it's crying. Him now. <laughs> and you didn't realize he was in there. Oh yeah, I thought something smelled off. <laughs> Luke said, completely unaware of anything going on in the room outside of Leia's tight butthole. He pulled his wiener out quick. <laughs> his hard erection stuck straight out, covered in poop. <laughs> Ooh. And- oh my. And staring Han right in the face. How did you get up that high? Han is presumably standing up. It, uh, I, uh, well, here's the thing, Han, Luke said, trying to make himself sound dignified, even with an erection covered in poop. (laughs) Because I'm I'm concerned with his erection being covered in poop. (laughs) Sticking at my face. (laughs) Although, admittedly, it is a challenge to um, preserve one's dignity in that sort of situation. I have to say, I'm not sure if I can manage it. There is no thing, kid. What the heck is going on? Look, Han, it's got nothing to do with you, I swear, Leia said, wiping the cum off her pretty face. Well, at least she finally did that. 
Yes, and I'm like, it's pretty considering she was just nailing two other guys instead of her boyfriend, but whatever. Let's, it's got everything to do with me. Han turned silently and slowly, walking back to the cockpit and leaving a trail of runny poo behind <laughs> him. You wouldn't stop <laughs> by the bathroom? <laughs> shit. Like, really, what the shit? Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't marry him either after seeing that. I mean, I'm kind of glad that she saw it before she said yes. <laughs> he went <coughs> to the pilot seat of the Millennium Falcon. Ew! The backside of his pants made a squishy noise as he sat down. Ew. I'm so glad you're the one reading this and not me. <laughs> he mushed around in his jean shorts. When was he wearing jean shorts? Oh my god, that's disgusting. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> he reached into his pocket again. Ew. <laughs> Without the engagement ring, he was only out... He was only hours away from giving to Leia. Why was he waiting hours to do that anyway? Well, I guess because it was nighttime and everybody was asleep, supposedly. Oh, maybe he was going to go to that celebration and pop the question there. Probably. Okay. Tears in his eyes... Tears in his eyes became heavy and started streaming down his face. He was sure it was meant to be, but how could he look at her the same way when he knew that precious... That precious face... He had come to love, had been jizzed on by his co by his Wookiee co pilot. Well, that's a question that all of us must ask. <laughs> and then the question rose, how could he live with himself? How could what do you mean, how could you live with himself? Or are you talking about uh about calling him Wookiee? Chewbacca <laughs> <laughs> Um He couldn't he decided he absolutely couldn't. No amount of space therapy really <laughs> <laughs> could help him regain his mental stability. Even the renowned doctors of the Gelgonorn <sighs> sector could, could not help him. He cried into the engagement ring before him. And smelled the feces that filled his pants. <laughs> what is <laughs> like, You keep saying that and it's very appropriate. Yes. And I'm just like, this could be really important and sad. If not for Han Solo having shitted himself. <laughs> we keep mentioning the fact that he pooped himself. And it's <laughs> awful. And he's not wearing pants, he's wearing shorts. You established He's wearing this. jean shorts, which makes this whole ten times worse. Oh, God, I shit myself. How do you miss that? (laughs) You exploded in diarrhea. Like, you don't miss something like that. That's not something you just sort of overlook and realize later. Like I could, I could understand of like like releasing one's bladder in the in the middle of like serious trauma or something like that, but pooping yourself and not noticing it until later. I don't think so. <laughs> the context clues would kind of be there. Han pulled his blaster from his leg holder. He put the cold barrel of it in his mouth and cried harder than before. Fuck you, world! Han <laughs> screamed with a more mouthful of laser blaster and pulled the trigger. Well, that's that's pretty kind bad. Of, kind of extreme for the situation. I mean, get a get a shower or something. Find a new girlfriend. Who yeah. Got, mind you, pooping in your pants, but I mean, the world's not that bad. Come on, everybody poops. Although <laughs> most people try and you know not poop in jean shorts. Yeah. In space, space jean shorts. And pulled the trigger. His brains flew out of his head and splattered all over the wall directly behind him. Blood and mucus were all over the cockpit, and ooey gooey green stuff clogged the electronics on the dashboard. Uh, I guess that's a scientific term, ooey gooey green stuff. Yeah. C-3PO, we actually put the C there. Well, and- he, is, he is called 3PO for short, but typically that's only in actual speech by the people of the story. But whatever. Anyway. <laughs> C-3PO had heard the blast from the corridor... Corridors he shared with R2-D2. 
So they just share the corridor? They just keep them in the hallway? Well, they're robots. I guess they don't need sleep. Or rooms. Well, still, I mean, they need some place to recharge, and presumably, and... I don't know, whatever. Uh, he was in the midst of organizing his stamp collection. His stamp collection? Yes, robots keep stamp collections. <laughs> when it rang through the ship. Your stamp collection rang through the ship. <laughs> oh my, R2. I think something is terribly wrong in the cockpit. I say totally casually. <laughs> bleepity, bleepity, bleep, bleep, <laughs> snork. <laughs> oh, hush up, will you? It was probably an accident after all. Well, I best go have a look. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> this is this is really a trying ordeal, isn't it? Yes. Uh, I was okay with this story until we got to the part where Han killed himself. Yeah, it's kind of extreme and horrible. 3PO moved his stiff body through the ship and into the cockpit. He first saw the dashboard, necessary for flying the ship, covered in blood, brains and goo. (laughs) Oh god, the flying instruments! Because that's the first thing I'd be concerned with when I saw (laughs) blood and shit all over the place. (laughs) Literally. (sighs) He looked further to his left and saw Captain Solo's body lying back on, back in his rolly chair, a giant smoking crater occupying his face. There next to him was his brain, smoking and bleeding, my dear deceased Yoda. What? <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> kind of insensitive, given the situation, yes. isn't it? Yes. What has happened here? R2, R2, come quick. R2-D2 had shut down for the night. He was tired from his long journey and tired of fighting against the Empire. But most of all, he was tired of hearing 3PO holler all day. (laughs) R2 is a dick, kind of. (laughs) He sort of looks like one, too, if you think (laughs) about it. Well, I would say he looks more like a hair roller. (laughs) But he has a he has a thing on the end. It's, it's just a round dome. It doesn't really look like a... Well, it sort of does. I mean, a very basic sort of way. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? I don't know. It's better than concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> he, he guessed he was gay. Uh... <laughs> this isn't Futurama. Robots... Robots can't be gay. Well, maybe they can. Who knows? We'll let them have that freedom, but uh, they don't really have the equipment, though. I mean, they don't really have gender, do they? No. R2! <laughs> C-3PO yelled, and his head exploded. What? <laughs> <laughs> his circuits had overloaded with panic and despair. Oh, they would have done that long ago if they could do that. Smoke filled the cockpit. Oh, I love how it's two words, so it's obviously not the cockpit as in a yeah. control room. It's a pit of cock. Yes. A <laughs> still naked Luke and Leia smelled it for, from their fuck room. What was that? Oh, I don't know, Luke. Just help me get this Wookiee cum off my face. How sticky is that? She's been wiping it off for like ten minutes now. <laughs> maybe he maybe he came a lot on her face. I don't know. Just go take a shower. You were doing very well before. Yeah. Sure sure thing, sis. Hey, can we do that again later? Luke asked, referencing the pork fest that happened only minutes ago. Well, obviously he's <laughs> referencing that. What else would he be referencing? Yeah. Let's see. Come on, let's go. Like, right now? <laughs> Like, let's not give a shit what just happened to Han Solo. <laughs> let's not go check that out. Let's not cover ourselves and make sure he's okay or anything like that. <laughs> How did we get to this point in life? Like, this is our life now. <laughs> because I thought it would be good and fun to read a bunch of shitty fan fictions. Yeah, and you got the shitty fan fiction. You possibly got the <laughs> shittiest fan fiction that has ever been. <laughs> you got it. You got it. 